working with. Thank you. Hello, everybody. We're letting everybody come in and make sure everybody can see us and hear us and you're comfortable. Grab your favorite beverage if you want to take some notes. Um, but the chat is active, so feel free to drop any comments, questions over there, and we will get started in just one second. We've got extra stylists in the call, so we'll st stick around for a Q&A at the end. You'll get a lot of opinions and help. Exactly. If you've got questions tonight. Where did Sherry Hightower go? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's Sharon. I she comes. Sherry is <laughs> We kind of need her. Yeah. <laughs> well, in honor of her, oh, Laura's here. In honor of her favorite artist, we shall say Sherry has left the building. <laughs> yeah, Elvis has left the building. Okay. I was oh, like, we got you. What happened? <laughs> I kicked myself off, I think. I kicked, hit the wrong button when it said recording started. Oh. Claudia, can you hear us now? Claudia, can you hear us now? Oh, good, 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 good. Christy Conway. Hi, Christy. Hey and Sharon and Katie Valentine. Oops. Hello. Sharon's one of my favorite people. Aww. Aww. Hi, wearing, Sharon. Well, Katie. What? You're wearing my blouse. I am. Oh, <laughs> that is such a great one. Think it Anna's in the room. Hey. All right. Hi, Laura and Anna. Hi there. Can you hear me? I can. I can. Anna is muted, but that's okay. Okay. As long as she can hear us. <laughs> I yes. Oh, I hello, help. beautiful. There you are. Hi. Hello. Okay. And just because we can't see your faces, um, if you don't mind, Sarah, I know you said hello, and we've got Marissa, and I think, well, Sherry, I think we know who, but um, just if you wouldn't mind saying, like, your last name in the chat, if it's not on, just so that we can see who's here, because we have lots of guests coming, um, and since some names are similar, we want to make sure that we've recognized who all are here, so... Um, and I say we get started. Go for it. Okay. All right. Make sure everybody's muted. Yeah. Do that. So I'm going to mute everybody. So ladies, you need to um, unmute yourself if you're going to be talking. So, okay. All right. Okay, ladies, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Welcome to all of you. My name is Kelly Weaver. For those of you that don't know me, so excited to be here with the girls that I work alongside with, several of them, and they're going to introduce themselves as they come on. But we're excited to share this first collection with you, Getaway Ready. And like some of you heard me say, it was snowing here in Michigan. So we're so excited to think spring, think vacation. And so this is going to be the perfect pieces to kind of get us in that frame of mind. So let me tell you a little bit about how this is going to go tonight. We are going to quickly watch the video and just to kind of remind us of all the pieces. But for the most part, we hope that you all have been following on each of our um, social media platforms as we've been sharing the specific details on fit and fabric and sizes and prices and things like that. So tonight is going to be more about seeing them on the body and giving you all some styling ideas. We did send out our newsletter last week, and so we hope that you all got that. So if you did not, please shoot us a message and we will send that right out and that will give you even more details. And we're going to continue covering them throughout the week and talk about ordering at the end, but those all go in this weekend. So with that, I say we get started. So I'm going to share my screen and go ahead and share this beautiful video that we have. So get away ready. Here we go.
even give a what. get over here and now let's start got to find everyone we have all decided to start off with the same piece and so we're ex so excited to talk about these two pieces but first let's just take note we're all in different locations with different lighting different technology and so they all look like different colors but we swear they're all the same color so this is the Capri sweatshirt. And in a minute, we will highlight the matching bottom. So Sherry, why don't you kick us off? We want to hear about what you're wearing and your thoughts on your size and all of that. So, Well, good afternoon. Good evening, ladies. I'm Sherry Hightower from Shreveport, Louisiana. So um, it appears that mine is a uh, fire engine red. I guess it kind of fits me if uh, for the, those of you who know me, but it is a coral color and I have it on with a T up T and I wanted to get in a little close where you can see all the stripes here that fits beautifully underneath this little sweatshirt. It's patterned after the wind down that we have. Only difference is the sleeves are a little bit tighter. I'm in my true medium. I love the way it fits um, and I have it on with the crop that matches, which is not very cropped on me. This is my true medium. It is a little roomy, but you'll hear more, a whole lot more about the crop in just a few minutes. I um, wanted to share with you today um, just the sweatshirt. So this, like I said, TFT under here from the current collection. Then if you wanted to take it a little bit differently, um, I, with a vintage, what I did with vintage, let me sneak my little scarf out here. I just broke up the set, pretend I don't have this on now, and you see I've got this scarf. And then with a change of a shoe, going from my yellow shoe to a navy, look how that all just pulls together your nice little set. Then I pulled, um, just to show you all the different scarves, the vintage scarves we've had in the past, and everybody, you know, always buys the scarf. So look how all these scarves make this set, just adding that third piece where you are styled and not just wearing a two-piece set. And I'm going to let Kim talk about how, what, how she styled it for you. Good evening, everybody. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, and this is the kind of um, time of the year where you start with the heat and you end the day with air conditioning. And so wearing layers is absolutely perfect. I have paired the sweatshirt with the Kelly top. So does anybody, we should have let Kelly wear the Kelly <laughs> top, but I'm wearing it instead with the tomboy shorts. Um, I'm wearing the sweatshirt in a small and I think it's a little roomy, okay? So I usually do wear a small and I'm wearing the shorts in a six. I wanted them to be a little loose on the hip. So I'm usually a four uh, and I'm wearing it with a tread belt. And I just love just doing a little front tuck and just having like a super casual and layered outfit where I can take that this sweatshirt off and put it around my shoulders and be set for all the temperatures of the day. Kim, and I have to take note and make sure everyone understands you and Katie have the truest color showing here for the sweatshirt. So you Tennessee Vols gals, any of you that <laughs> need that true orange, then this is the true color. So, okay. Thank you, Kim. 
So I um, added it to our Ashberry gene, which if you have not seen these genes this season, um, you want to. They are amazing. It's our wide leg denim. I, Sherry and I, of course, had the same idea with the same scarf. And then I popped our prep school shirt from a couple of seasons ago. Um, I liked that bright blue there with the orange. I did also order a medium, which is my true size, and it is perfectly roomy. I agree the sleeves are kind of fitted, but not so much that I couldn't cuff them up um, to wear over a second layer. And um, yeah, so that's that's what I did. Love it. All right, Katie, in the true orange as well. What do you got going? Of course. So I am in the true orange. This is the actual color. I don't know what happened to all of them, but <laughs> I'm the right one. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I, it did snow here. I, my name is Katie Korak and I live in Sutton's Bay, Michigan, which is about four hours north of Kelly. So we do still have snow on the ground. So I'm feeling kind of cold. So I have mine on with the Harlow jeans. Uh, both the Ashbury and the Harlow jean are my favorites. They're just so comfortable. And then underneath that, I have worn our new Bally top, which we're going to talk about more a little bit later. But I do think you're going to find all kinds of pieces that are going to go back to things that you already have in your closet. Thank you, Katie. And I'm wearing a small. Perfect. All right. And I am here, like Katie said, also in Michigan, and I have the Capri sweatshirt on in an extra small, and it is my true size. You see how much room you have. I have it just a little tucked under. I am wearing it just with the matching crops, and we'll talk about those in a minute. And I went deep. If anybody has this jewelry piece, it actually matches, even though the lighting doesn't show it. And I have the fun hot house blouse. I dug in my closet. You all know I love that. So along with just putting it with a white denim and this, of course, fun vintage scarf, you could do our skinny cargos from the main collection. I dug deep in my closet and brought out some past favorites. So whether you're doing a brown cord or our trousers from the spring or a bombshell or our fun, happy shorts. There's lots of great things to put with this amazing Capri sweatshirt. So now let's chat a little bit about the bottoms that we have going on. And so Kim is gonna start us off. So let me get you going. Thanks, Kim. Hold on, Kim, let's unmute you. There you go. All right. All right. So I have, I just love the weight of this pants. They're the same uh, fabric as our Lyric blouse. They're just very lightweight, uh, very comfortable waist, great pockets. And um, I think that the everyday jacket, everybody should have it and everybody should can wear it every day and just love it with a little striped tee underneath. Um, so these are from the collection here for spring a minute ago. Uh, Y'all saw that I had it on with the Kelly top. Very cute. Another couple of things from this main collection, the little dotty cami and the showstopper blouse. I just think this little pop of color pants and just a simple blouse and a fun shoe, you could go anywhere. You could trade out the white jean jacket for any of our vintage denim jackets. And I also thought it was super cute with the bubble blouse from a previous season. So that's my little take on our new crop pant. Thank you. Okay, so I took this off so you all could see what shirt I had on. I have the hot house blouse on. This was a heart of cabby piece from a few seasons ago. And I think it matches our crops. It's amazing. And I love when we have a 26 inch inseam. That just means that I don't have to hem them. I am 5'1 on a good hair day. So you can see that these hit me perfectly as a wide leg trouser. 
I won't pin them. I'm wearing them with a flat. I throw them on with a tennis shoe and love that. So I dug deep again in my closet. And while I'm not going to go over all these pieces, you might see something familiar. You might have something like this in your closet. And that's what we really love about Cabby is that you can pick one additional new piece and throw it back to what you have and it just freshens it up. So don't worry, we're going to be taking pictures of all of these beautiful pieces and everything from our closets and sharing those with you as well. But we're going to keep on going um, and move to our next piece, which is the Savannah top. So Sherry, let's see where you are. Um, Katie, you ready? I am ready. Okay. Um. So I am wearing the Savannah top, and this is actually a repeat silhouette from last fall. Um, you can note the ruffle on the sleeve here. And if you look really closely, it has a very faint white print on it, but it's mostly the yellow. Um, I am wearing it with my Harlow jeans and the garden sweater, which is also from the current main collection. And then I took a vintage scarf and tied it up front here as a belt to pull it all together. But mainly what I would normally wear this with would be white denim or uh, the Lyric top over top of it or our Palm Beach crops in our really nice white denim. Um, I'd like the idea of the yellow with the white. Sherry, are you ready? I'm ready, Katie. Um, and I too love it with white. I have, am I muted? Nope. No, we hear you. Okay, yeah. Um, I do love it with white. I have it with the skinny cargo on from this season's um, collection. I love the skinny cargo with it, the white denim. And then of course, a little pop of yellow shoes. And then I dug very deep too for a little yellow cardigan that we used, we had several, several seasons ago because Sometimes uh, we ladies love to kind of cover our arms a little bit, but then, you know, we can do it with this way. So anyway, this is just the, you know, one of those um, great cardies from Cabbie that always pairs back. Thank you, Sherry. Okay, so now we're moving on to the show off dress. And so Kim, go ahead and let us know about okay. the show off dress. All right, so this, is a dress that you can really show off in. I'm going to show it off in navy. Kelly is going to show it off in black because guess what, ladies? This is a reversible dress. Navy on one side, black on the other. I put it with the tea time jacket. You just saw me in the everyday jacket, which I love. I am going to take it off just to show you. I usually am a size small. It is a little roomy on me. Okay, so uh, um, I, I ordered a medium. I wish I, I would prefer a small because it's just a little bit roomy. I do want to point out that it is a little bit of an A-line uh, and it does crisscross in the back. And this is just the stretchiest. This is like wearing a t-shirt dress. Um, I think that this is something that would be an amazing piece for everyone's closet. Who couldn't use a reversible dress, black on one side, navy on the other. Awesome. You look beautiful. Okay. So I put it on as well. I'm wearing my true size extra small, but I decided to add our fun little patchwork blouse as a little jacket um, just to kind of top it off. I feel like this is very true to size. I love the length on me. It hits me right above the knee. And like Kim said, it is the perfect travel piece, perfect piece with being black and navy. Um, it is going to be a workhorse. I grabbed a couple of things. So last season we shared our cherish top opened up over our trophy dress. So I think you could again do that here with the dress, just kind of do a little knot. Um, I like the idea and Kim may have mentioned just keeping things a little bit more cropped when you've got a dress on. A denim shirt, if you just want to do a little tie here, throw it over, throw on some tennis shoes, and you are good to go. I think that would be fabulous. But if you need to dress her up, I went in and found my black tie jacket. And again, just being similar black on black, which is another favorite thing we love about Cabbie. Our colors all stay the same. 
I have no problem throwing on a little sandal and I am good to go. So great little addition, going to be a workhorse. So let's keep going for the squad romper. And Lori, here you go. Yes. Hey, guys. Okay, so I threw the romper on. Um, I forgot to mention my name earlier. I'm sorry. I'm Laurie from Frisco, Texas. Um, but I threw on this season's caravan jacket. Obviously, the everyday jacket, which really should have been called everyone's jacket because it goes with everything. It would look great with this. I'm going to slip the jacket off, though. I ordered this in a medium, which is my true size. I'm an inverted triangle. So I have to dress these shoulders and then the rest of my body's kind of straight. So the medium is really, I have to have that up here and I could not have gone any smaller. Now I've noticed um, since getting it and thinking at first this felt a little loose, that's how we're showing it on every single model. And it feels amazing. This is a workable drawstring. I like the shorts a little bit on the, you know, tied a little bit lower. So the shorts are a little longer and just a little looser, but it is adjustable. So if you have those gorgeous legs and you want to make it a little bit shorter, you could tighten it more at your natural waist. Um, the zipper, it's got cute little patch pockets in the front and in the back, which is why I loved it with the caravan jacket, because it also kind of has that look. Um, but this is so comfortable. It's easy to wear. Um, I didn't pull a lot of vintage for it, but I thought maybe we could talk shoes with it. Right now I'm wearing my Uggs because <laughs> it's a little cold, but a cute wedge in a neutral, maybe a block heeled sandal or something fun like this. You know, just obviously sandals, tennis shoes are still my favorite go-to for a fun casual outfit. Um, lots of ways you could dress this up. I added the jewelry this time, but a cute baseball hat, ponytail, kicking around, getting things done, or dress it up a little bit more, throw on a jacket. It's great for brunch. It's great for out with the girls. Um, so yeah, great color, great cosmetic green. It looks great. I think this is looking pretty accurate, maybe a little darker than in real life on my screen, but, um, but yeah, it's a winner. Get one for everyone in your squad. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, look. So, yes, it does look a little different color in my uh, camera. So again, it is that kind of olive army green. So it's going mm -hmm. to be beautiful on everybody. Um, before I put on my topper, I just wanted to talk. I am an extra small. I ordered the extra small. I have it kind of cinched, but more loose. The tie will be able to cinch that up as tight as you want it to go. Um, so depending on where you need your waist that day, depending on what you <laughs> had to eat, you can do whatever you want. It makes it really roomy. And Lori and I must have uh, gone shopping at the same place because I've uh. I so, think we did. I think we did. Um, so before, again, add a couple of toppers, don't forget you can unzip this and throw a fun little cami underneath this if you think you would like to change up the look. We have a couple of additions. So the eyelet cami is beautiful underneath this. But I think it's beautiful with our garden cardigan. And this is such a happy spring cardigan. Um, I would probably order down in this, but I just wanted you to see the combination. Just if you feel like you need to have a little topper, this match is perfect. The uh, neighbor cardigan from last season, you could do something a totally different color. Um, apparently, the Evans jacket from last season um, is is very close to it, but I can't find mine, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to look for that one. So loving the romper, I will live in this um, tennis shoes. Dress it up, dress it down. Um, it is going to be that that fun piece. So. All right, let's keep going. We are on the one of my favorites, the sandbar pullover. So Sherry, here we go. Yes, I have on the sandbar pullover. Um, and you'll get something that you know and love. Remember the beachcomber um, last time in black in a new arrival that you all love. The difference is it's a little shorter. As you can see, it's mid-hipped. And um, I did size down. This is a small, and I usually wear a medium in cabbie, but see, it's still plenty roomy. And if you're super tall, you may want to stay with your true size if you don't want it to be too short, but I'm five, six and something. 
Uh, uh, and so it's perfect mid hip with going down the size and the sleeve length and everything. So I love it. It has the just the same crochet. Ooh, almost fell over um, here. Open weave. I have it with a tribute trouser. I did it a little bit dressier just because we're always wanting to put uh, leggings, uh, you know, more of a casual look. So I thought I would try it with the tribute trousers. These are my true size eight in the tribute. And then I have the matching top underneath here, the shine top from this collection. So, and then for vintage, I would say, you know, go back to the black and the casual. Here are those great fleggings. And of course we have the cheeky in this. Uh, and then I would change out and just wear a black cami underneath it and then put on some really cute shoes with it, you know, to dress it up a little bit. And you could even, if you're, if I can get my hanger out of there, um, the new tread belt, if you had your black leggings on or black cheeky pants, you could put this tread belt on the outside of that sweater and really dress it up again with that third piece. So let's see who's next to show us about, tell us about the sample. And I think it's, it's Katie. Me. And before I move on and talk about the sandbar pullover, this is the true color of the squad romper. Just wanted, since my color seems to be the one. Just dig right. in a little bit. Exactly. <laughs> so they explained to you that this was um, the beachcomber last season or last spring in the black, and they brought it back in this beautiful color. And I love it with white, but look at all these different pants that you could take it back to and it'll look really good. Um, always black, always white. I really like a combination of neutrals. And so I took it back to the Trapes trouser that we had last spring. Um, like I said, I like an all neutral look and isn't that one of our trends this season? Muted Lux. Muted Lux. Um, I'm impressed. It's also light enough that you could throw it over your bathing suit at the beach and for a little extra coverage. I am wearing a small and that is typically what I would wear. Perfect. You look beautiful. Why, thank you, Cal. Okay. <laughs> All right. We are moving on to the next piece. This is the Laguna slip dress and so i have it on in my true size extra small i think it is fabulous it is a such a beautifully made piece we've shared on our social media the you know the process that it takes to create this beautiful piece this is a cotton linen blend but i just want to give it a moment um the inlets that are laid here this is a very high end process and um, I just think this dress, you're going to be able to wear it so many different ways. It has a little tie right here. So it just cinches right in at the waist. Um, and so I've had people try this on. The design intent is not for it to close completely. When the designer shared this with us at the very beginning, um, it did have a little opening. So I will, you know, most people are like, oh, I feel like it's a little thin or slim right here. It's not, it, it, it is pretty true to size, just know that. And what I love about this is that you're going to be able to wear it so many different ways. I would put a flip-flop on with this, throw on my beach hat and I am good to go at the beach, um, but dress her up and you are good to go as well. And um, Sherry is gonna show how we can maximize this by wearing it more than one way when she comes on. I'm giving her another minute. She's being very quick in her changes, mm -hmm. um, but it is a two piece. So I've got the little slip underneath, okay? Cabby has done that many times. So you've got full coverage, it comes. So I am loving it worn just like this. But Sherry, how else can we wear this to really maximize uh, our cost per wear? Let's see what you're doing. So I put it on today as a duster. I tucked in the, the little slip is, you know, it's it's not too long. So I was doing a quick change, really. I would put, of course, my back to, I would put a belt on with it. But this has the little slip tucked in my jeans. And then I've just worn it as a duster. My weight is in my middle because uh, I'm an older, oldie 
but so but this is a medium and it's supposed to you know like kelly said not be um and i didn't want you know so much room so i did stay with my true size even though this is where you know i carry my weight so i didn't have time to throw on my cute shoes but i did have to show them to you so if i'm wearing this with my jeans i have it on with the harlow and um, of course i throw this in, you know. <laughs> yeah, that. you will. <laughs> yeah, of course. So uh, for a vintage look, I went, I dug back and, you know, Cabby through the years and says seasons, we always have had wonderful dresses and they always have a slip. So what if we took some of our old slips for our vintage, not old, and like a navy underneath it, a pop of pink underneath it, and then just do a great shoe change. There's a black, I hope black would look awesome under it. And just a good shoe change and a, a good jewelry change. And there you have it, a vintage look and so many ways to wear this beautiful dress. I love that. I wondered why they gave us so many different slips, you know, yeah. now we know. So now we know. <laughs> okay, we are moving on to the beautiful belly top. Katie, you ready? I am ready. Okay. And I got to say, this is like one of my favorite pieces um, ever and also in these 11 and if anybody has already purchased the cruise crop which is what I'm wearing on the bottom you need this blouse um, it is our silky touch fabric I don't have a cami underneath it I don't think you need it I will show you I'm going to pull it out it's got a really cute ruffle in the back so if you wanted to wear it out it has that little peplum in the back. I also thought it would be cute taking it back to our Capri sweatshirt. Just throw it over your shoulders for when the evening gets cooler. But also, I mean, everybody needs this. You know, like uh, a friend of ours says, I'm not checking you out until you have this in your basket. <laughs> but anyway, so you're going to be able to take it back to the Capri crop, your uh, not Capri, campground crop. Uh, these are a vintage pair of shorts from years ago. These are the traits trousers that I just showed you a few minutes ago. Look at that, it looks gorgeous. And also back to blacks and browns and an olive green. I am wearing a small, which is my typical size and it fits great. You look buy it. You want it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I as well have the Bali top on. And I think I might have the truer color right now. I don't know. But <laughs> anyway, I am wearing it with the current Galaxy Cargos. Uh, this is my this will be my fourth pair. I love every time Cabby does these cargos. Uh, I will wear them with tennis shoes. I will wear them with little heels. And I thought some of you might appreciate that I found. Oh. And it matches perfect. And so, um, you know, we love it when we can reuse. I often get asked, when is Cabby doing shoes again? Thank the Lord they're not. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> The stylists on this call exactly. agree with you. Okay, <laughs> so wearing it back to the current collection, I um, thought this was a beautiful look. This has been mm -hmm. such a sweet surprise for my clients that have tried this on. This beautiful campus pullover in this cream color. It's such a yummy feeling knit. It steps up from just the basic tee that we never do anyway. Has a little bit of rib detail here but anything underneath this by itself is beautiful. So I thought it looked perfect with the Bali. I actually said the neighbor cardigan early, that would be perfect here. The croquet pullover actually has that yellow that's right here. And then this orange, even though they look a little pink or red or whatever color they look, um, it does have the same orange here from our utility trousers. So this is a fabulous blouse. I am wearing my true size, extra small, love the little peplum detail, so it is going to be beautiful. All right, let's go on to our tomboy shorts and Lori, Lori, who just loves wearing shorts. <laughs> love it, love it. But I have to say, I didn't get the Bali top or the um, 
Laguna dress and I'm having a lot of FOMO over here. <laughs> Y'all make it look really good. So yes, true story. I hate my legs. I don't wear shorts, but I live in a climate. I've always lived in a climate where it's really not an option, right? It's 110 degrees here in July and August and you know, you need a pair of shorts. So I was actually very excited about these. Um, it's gonna be hard. It is a dark wash denim. I know it's looking very black in the screen. Um, they've got a little bit, let me just, oh yeah, we're not gonna see a lot of detail, but um, you'll notice in the photos, there's a little bit of a, like a shout out to the traits. Remember how we had that little asymmetrical, but it's just very subtle with a normal button enclosure um lots of stretch what i love about these shorts is they're a dark denim which i think is always a class move and they're very well styled but they're fun they they've got the the little camp style you know pocket in the front the wider pocket i went a little old school with this little pairing here the two timing top and i don't even remember um but what this one was called. Maybe one of you other stylists will. Um, the belt is great. I went, okay, so <laughs> I am right in between a four and a six, right in between. And because I love my legs so much, I said, I'm going to get the six because I want them just a little bit longer. And I'm very happy with the length on these. They are a little loose in the waist on me, but that's where this beautiful belt comes in handy. Now, as far as um, picking things from this line, everything's gonna go with these shorts. I, I don't wanna insult anyone's intelligence by bringing out every single piece of the line because everything's gonna go with them. But how fun is this for like a summer barbecue? The little red, white, and blue with the dotty cami and the detour jacket that is very vivid on my screen. Again, the colors are off. But um, so you could kind of dress this up maybe with a fun wedge. So that's my take on the tomboy short. And I love those on you. And I've been sharing with all my clients, Lori, that these legs have been carrying us through life. So be nice that's to true. your legs. I will be nice to my legs, Kelly. Yes. Thank you. All right, Katie. No, oh, wait, Katie. no. Sherry, I'm sorry. You look so ready. I was just like, there she is ready. So I too, uh, with Kelly, I mean, with uh, Lori, I'm not a fan of my legs in shorts these days because I've got a big birthday coming up Thursday. The big, six, the big six, six. So anyway, <laughs> that um, these legs have carried me a while and they've done a lot of dancing. So I'm just going to have to, I'm gonna have to uh, go with it. I love these shorts though. Um, and I too the, feel like they're a little roomy. This is an eight, my true size. I could have gone to a six, but I wanted to do what Kim had, had done earlier. I want them a little lower on the hip, roomy and a little longer. So, um, and then another trick that I think that for me works well, as far as doing some, a little justice to your legs is just put a little wedge on. You know, just mm -hmm. put a, get a little bit of a wedge going on. And the shoe makes the outfit. You know, if we've got all these beautiful clothes, do not stop at your ankle. Buy those shoes. And then I had a, just happened to have a pink belt, you know, that goes very well with them, too. I have the Charm Tank on in pink, the Lyric blouse, which I love. I've kind of crisscrossed mm -hmm. it. Um, so that's my look with the Tomboy short. I love the pockets. Love, I love everything about these shorts. And this is another yeah. I don't care how old you are or how young you are. You need these shorts in your closet, especially yeah. if you live in Texas or Louisiana. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Okay, we are moving on to this beautiful Marrakesh top, and we have another set opportunity. So I'm going to go ahead and share the top with you, and it is just so beautiful. And I remind my clients, this is a pace placement print. So all of these are going to look the same for you. And so I am loving it back. I just threw on my Chargos from last season. I just think it's a fabulous, fun, comfortable, sophisticated kind of look to go about my day. And if you're needing a pair of black pants, then you could definitely do the cheeky pant. That is the greatest pull on. I already own two pair, nice little crop 
wearing them all the time, or you could do the caravan if you'd rather have more of a dressed up trouser look. Then, um, uh, and, and that is what I've got for you. Kim, I know you've styled it beautifully as well. I have it on with the jet skort. So remember this great selling skort with a little faux leather on the front, little ponte on the back, great pockets. So if you have this piece from fall, winter, bring it out and wear it in the spring. So I placed it with the Baroque cami from this season. And then I just did a little tie right here to just make it just a little bit more sporty. And I have put it with, um, you may know this Cole Haan little animal print. It goes with so much in this collection. So I put myself a little uh, pump on and I really just feel super dressed and sophisticated in this. I am wearing a medium, which would be my, my true size would be a small in this, but the medium was a little more roomy and gave me this opportunity to do a little sporty tie. You look beautiful. I love that. I almost forgot about the jet skort. So, okay. All right, Katie, go ahead and I'll go after you. Okay, so I um, am wearing the Marrakesh short. Um, it has a full elastic waistband all the way around. It has pockets and who doesn't love pockets? I will spin around. You can see the placement print in the back. Um, I have it paired with the No Doubt Pullover. And this is another one of those pieces that I won't check you out until it's in your car. <laughs> Everyone needs this. And of course, obviously black is gonna go with this. And so I pulled out the Busy Tank. Uh, hopefully all my clients have this in their uh, closet already. So if you want a little bit cooler look or feeling, um, you can pull out a tank or a t-shirt. Obviously, it's going to go with anything black that you have in your closet. And yeah. I'll be wearing it with espadrilles. And I got a medium. I probably could have done a small, but I didn't want to sacrifice on the length. And I don't want anything tight on me. Oh, and they also look good with the Marrakesh top as a set. Katie? Katie, well, before you go to Kelly, will you turn that Marrakesh top around that you've got hanging behind you and show that cute detail down the back? See how they did that trim? Isn't that so cute? So pretty. <laughs> so pretty. Sorry. No, very pretty. Very high end. Very high very. end. Very. So I agree. I went ahead and put it on as the set so that you can see. I just feel like I am ready to hit the resort no matter where that is. I think this is so beautiful. I just have it on with a pair of flats, but I could do an espadrille. Um, I would even do a nude heel and take this all the way to brunch or to a wedding shower or something like that. Of course, Kim showed the Baroque cami, but I also wanted to remind you any of our fabulous mm -hmm. black tees, but if you have not checked out the You Complete Me top, this is the one that I tell my ladies you need to just grab before you can check out um, because this will be the perfect layering piece. You will wear this all the time. So um, if you'd rather just throw on a short sleeve black top, it has a nice little cap sleeve. So that is our new releases. We have gone through everything. So what I'd love to do really quickly is just refresh you of all the names, um, quickly go through, and then we will stay on for those that want to um, uh, want to see anything, um, ask any questions. But let's quickly just go through the names really quick. The Campground Crop and the Capri Sweatshirt. We've got the beautiful Savannah top. And so sizes are here and prices are here as well as everything we've shared with you. This is the show off dress and you see it both in the black and the navy. Then you have the squad romper, which uh, just looks beautiful on. The sandbar pullover, loving it right here with her Western boots and the Speedway skirt. And then the Laguna slip dress, which we saw Sherry show as a topper as well. The Bali top, which we've all just concluded is one of our favorites. The tomboy shorts, which everyone is just loving. And where Lori was trying to explain a little bit of the um, 
the detail here in the pocket stitching, you get a good look there. And then we finish off with the Marrakesh top and the Marrakesh shorts. So those are our new releases and we loved sharing them with you. And so at this time, we would love to answer any questions, um, help you understand that we are all taking pre-orders right now through the weekend, all of our orders go in on Sunday. Remember, we do the best we can. We enter them first come, first serve. And then we all just hold our breath until Monday morning when we find out. But remember, we have a beautiful wait list feature. So if by chance we miss out on one, we will make sure to get you to the wait list. And we all work really hard to make sure that we will get them for you at some point. I am Hopeful. So please ask questions. Let us know what you need to hear from us.